Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to protect seat, how to protect Excel seat and how to unprotect Excel seat in UiPath. I will also show you how to protect seat with password and how to unprotect Excel seat with password. So, there are four things I am going to show you and this I am going to show you using invoke vv activity in ui path so this in this one i am going to use vva code to protect and unprotect excel seat in the ui path whenever you are going to use vva code in excel to rename to delete seat or insert seat or protect seat or anything then first you need to open one excel go to file click on option then click on trust center then settings then click on macro settings then check this checkbox so this trust access should be always checked now let's say i have this seat raw data okay and i want to protect this seat protect means no one can edit this seat or no one can like delete anything from here so for that let me first use one excel application scope and select that a specific excel file that can be taken from your arguments or from variable so this is the excel file that i am going to use this one and this is the seat name that i am going to protect here copy this here i am going to use invoke vva because i am going to write vva code to protect the seat and unprotect the seat. Now, here we need to select that a specific text file where I have written the code to protect and unprotect. So, I have selected this one. So, this is the notepad where I am going to write how to protect the seat. So, the VBA code to protect the seat is you need to write here sub and then you can write one method name like function name that will be uh, protect seat open close bracket and then and sub seats off like in the bracket in double quotation you can put that specific seat name that you want to protect so seats of raw data dot protect so this method we are going to use to protect this seat save this here we need to pass that entry method so let's say you have multiple methods you have written here you have written multiple functions like sub so which one you want to call so you want to specify that one so i'm going to call this one protect seat so i will write this one and run this one so what will happen this raw data this seat will be now protected you can see now this raw data seat has been now protected now you can see here if you double click on that you are getting this pop-up message it means it says that the sale or chart you are trying to change is on a protected seat to make a change unprotect the seat you might be requested to enter a password so there are two ways to protect either you can just protect and you can unprotect this one without any password second way you can protect with password so whenever someone will go unprotect that so they need to enter that a specific password that password that we use to protect that one right so this is the simple way that i shown you to protect the seat so no one will able to enter any th things here or no no one will able to delete anything right so we have protected now now i want to unprotect the seat so for that i need to write one more code so copy this paste the same thing change the function name or like method name i'm using un and then protect seat so you need to write seats of raw data that you want to unprotect dot right here unprotect 
so to protect the seed you need to write dot protect and to unprotect you need to write dot unprotect specify the seed name dot unprotect save that copy this method go to this one and paste here save this run this one so you can see here now this seat has been now unprotected so if you double click you can edit now you can delete now right now the other way i am going to show you to protect the seat that is using password so for that what you need to do let me copy this here paste here now let me change this name method name with password so sub this method name protect seat with password and then so what you need to do keep this same as, as as it is now space right here password colon equals to in the double quotation you can pass your password that you want to apply to protect the seat so you can write anything like let's say a at the rate one two three save this one copy this method name go to this invoke vba paste this one and run this so what will happen now this seat will be protected with a password let me open this and you can see i am not able to edit this and if i am going to unprotect manually it is asking for the password okay now if your seat has been protected with the password and you know the password so you can unprotect with the same password so you need to write one code copy this and this is method name will will be sub unprotect seat with password and here you need to write instead of protect you need to write seats of seat name dot unprotect space password equal to the same password you need to apply to unprotect that one if you pass wrong data it will not unprotect that so copy this method name and go to this uipa studio paste here that method and run that one so you will see here now this will be unprotected now so you can see now unprotected is not is not showing here it means this has been now unprotected right so by this way you can protect the seat and you can unprotect the seat you can protect seat in a simple way and also you can protect seat with the password so there are two things two way to protect the seat and there are two way to unprotect the seats i hope this is useful if so please like this video and please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet thank you so much for watching this video if you want to learn blue prism please visit my youtube channel youtube.com/blueprismrpa and also if you want to learn blue prism from udemy and you want to get certificate you can search for my blue prism course th there that is blue prism rpa complete course i will also put the link in in my video description you can go through that there thank you